Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home, and I hate to have to talk about this again, but the news with Disney regarding physical media, it just keeps getting worse. Hey everyone, so thanks for coming back to the channel today. This will be a pretty quick video, but I needed to talk about this uh, because there's been a bit of a, another disturbing trend when it comes to physical media from Disney. Um, so I've been getting, you know, I get press releases from Disney, Warner, Paramount, all the major studios send me their home entertainment press releases. Now, a couple weeks ago, or maybe even last week, Disney now owns Fox, which then means they own Fox Searchlight Pictures, which became Searchlight Pictures on its own without the Fox uh, affiliation. They own that studio, that distribution arm. And Searchlight Pictures acquires a bunch of independent movies and was doing so, you know, before it was acquired by Disney. Things were put into production and things have been in production since. Now, that studio used to produce really great movies. There are tons of Searchlight Pictures movies that were distributed by Fox and Searchlight that were independent movies. Uh, you know, some starring big names, some not that became huge indie hits, most of which are available on Blu-ray. Now, I got a press release last week for the movie Barbarian. If you haven't been paying attention to the news and horror movies or box office results, Barbarian was an extremely successful independent horror movie. It got great reviews from critics, great audience reviews. It was a huge success for independent horror this year, and it was distributed by Searchlight Pictures, although it had independent production companies. Now, when the press release came out for the home entertainment version, they mentioned that a digital version would be releasing, but no mention of physical. Now, in my experience, having done this for seven, eight years now, five years at least on YouTube, when they give you a press release, they always release the digital date and then they give you the physical date, which is usually three to four weeks later. Ever since digital became so prominent, that's the way they've done it. And I went back and I looked, I didn't have any press releases that didn't mention physical if there was going to be a physical release at some point. So as far as I'm concerned, this breakout horror movie hit is not going to have a physical media release. Now, horror movie fans arguably keep physical media going maybe more than any other genre. All the independent boutique labels that are out there, Shelf Factory, Vinegar Syndrome, Blue Underground, Arrow Video, Synapse, like Severin, like they, they cater to a lot of horror movie and cult movie fans and Barbarian would have fit right in. No physical release, super disappointing because that was a hit, a big hit. So how can Disney not justify getting out at least a Blu-ray release of that movie for fans of the film to watch at home? No, because they want you to buy digital so that at any point in time they can strip your digital library and you own nothing, or they want you to pay for Disney Plus to stream it and rent it. Now, Barbarian, interestingly enough, is actually going to HBO Max. So Searchlight must have sold to HBO Max. They got a big streaming deal, but no physical copy. It's just insane for a movie that was that popular, but I thought, okay, fine. Maybe they're licensing it out like they did with WALL-E. Maybe this is just a one-off. Then today, I got another press release for another independent movie, See How They Run. That movie has Sam Rockwell, David Oyelowo. It has uh, Saoirse Ronan. It has a big time cast. It, you know, Adrian Brody's in it. Like it felt very much like a Wes Anderson type movie, but it was this independent movie put together by director Tom George that was acquired by Searchlight in 2021 and they distributed it to theaters. Now it wasn't the biggest hit. It made about $20 million at the box office. It wasn't a huge hit. It did get decent reviews. It got, you know, mostly people gave it like a six to eight out of 10. Audiences gave it a B to a B minus. So it did well enough. It wasn't a huge stinker. And I know a lot of people enjoyed it. It was just a, you know, an, an indie movie that wasn't going to have mainstream appeal, but did fine. Now, again, press release for the home entertainment release, digital copy on November 1st. I asked them, Hey, will there be a physical release? No, there will not be a physical release for this title. So now that's two in a row, both from Searchlight, both from, you know, what used to be Fox Searchlight, both under Disney's banner, where they're essentially just saying, yeah, we're not going to bother with Blu-ray or DVD. We can't be bothered. It's going to digital. Find it on Disney Plus at some point. Rent these things. We don't want you to have ownership because we want to keep making money off of you versus a one-time purchase. And it's just, it's disappointing because again, these are the types of movies that could get, you know, a bit of a second life 
when they hit Blu-ray. Um, they definitely would sell well, given that they are these independent movies that, you know, I think would have a sort of a cult following, especially Barbarian would sell well with horror movie fans who maybe didn't get a chance to see it in theaters. I know I was one of them, so I'm very disappointed. And same with See How They Run. I mean, that cast, you know, that's the type of movie that maybe could become a cult classic with physical sales, like a big Lebowski did back in the 90s, you know, and they're just not even giving it the chance and they're sort of, um, you know, I wouldn't say burying them because they're they're putting them out on digital and Barbarians going to HBO Max, but they're just not they're not promoting them and to not even release them on physical media when you're one of the biggest horror movie hits of the year, to me is just it's just inexcusable. It's just really disappointing and I just don't I don't know what their problem is because they're the only studio that's doing this. I hope it changes. Again, I've been talking about this for years, like it's only gotten worse, so clearly Disney has their mindset, um, but you know, it's just super disappointing and I'm going to keep making these videos so that they know, uh, this community really hates it. Um, and you know, maybe something will change. Maybe they'll wake up and smell the roses. It's, yeah, I just don't see how you can lose money, Pr you know, print them, print them on demand. If you want to do manufacture on demand. So you only have to pay the $5 to make the movie. If somebody pays twenty dollars to buy it, like it's just a win, you, you can't lose. You're going to make ten dollars after Amazon fees or whatever on each one of these sales. You literally can't lose, but they just don't want to put the time or effort in when they can just slap it on streaming and it costs them nothing. And they keep getting your business for subscriptions and for digital purchases, which you know they'll someday just strip away from your Voodoo or Movies Anywhere lineup. So. It's, it just sucks, and I just wish they'd change. That's it for the video. I know, disappointing news again, but in more positive news, at least it's just Disney. Paramount has been speeding things up, new 4K releases left and right. Sony's putting out 4K releases left and right. Movies we wouldn't have even expected are coming to 4K. Lionsgate continues to do a great job with 4K Steelbooks. Warner Brothers is doing great work with 4K. Universal is putting out classic monster movies. They're all teaming up under studio distribution services to continue to support 4K with websites like Groove.com. Like Everybody else is doing great. And promoting this community and at least working with us sure digital and streaming might be their first focus but at least they're focused on this group you know literally millions of us out there still buy discs still a billion dollar industry multi-billion dollar industry um, but disney just can't be bothered and so honestly at this point like i i really can't be bothered with them either so thanks for watching hope you guys have a great rest of your day make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any updates like this and follow me on social media i'll be back soon with more videos so stay tuned for that stay safe out there and i will talk to you guys soon